Hi everyone, I'm Cecilia and you're watching The Dairies. Today something super exciting got here and that would be my Bond Designs diaper bag. So if you don't know, this is the one I currently use. It's the Kiki Lou, I love it. And I have a whole What's in My Diaper Bag for her newborn video, I'll link that above. And I just wanted a different color, so I thought I would try the fawn because they're very similar, but they're slightly different. So I'm gonna start with this unboxing. Showing you what I got. And then I'm gonna do a little comparison. I'm gonna take my current diaper bag and put everything in the fawn and see if it fits maybe more or less or just kind of see a little bit of the differences between the Kiki Lou and the Fawn because they are so similar. So this is what it's like when you open it. And let's see, let's start with the diaper bag, which is here at the bottom. So it comes in a dust bag, which is different. The Kiki Lou did not come in a dust bag. So I got the brown original diaper bag. And then I got the blush clutch. What is this called? The, the changing clutch. And it comes with the this, which I'm gonna open so it stops making noise. So basically, this is a change pad. And it has the logo, a nice clip, and it all clips together. It has gold hardware. And then it goes in this clutch here. Oh, and this has this little little wristlet strap. That's nice. So this goes in here. And along with that, you can fit this, which you put wipes in. And it just says, Vaughn Designs. I don't know if I'll actually use this part, but I probably will. At least I'll test it out. So those both fit in there nicely. And then you close it. And then you can just take this on the go with you. You can probably fit a diaper in here. I don't know about a cloth diaper. That's why I might not use the big hard case. I might just use my soft case one so I can shove more in here so I can fit a cloth diaper. Just for on the go, quick trips. And this also has the gold hardware. Oh, yeah. And it says right there in gold fawn designs. And the reason I got the blush, um, for this, even though I got the brown bag, is because blush will go with the brown, and it will also go with the gray if I wanna take it in my Kiki Lou. But you see, if I got brown, it wouldn't really go with the gray, and if I got gray, it wouldn't go with the brown. So I got a third color altogether. <laughs> oh, wait, this is, does not go on the strap. It has a little, I hooked it onto the zipper, but it actually has a little spot. That's nice. That's super cute. So right off the bat, some of the differences between the Kiki Lou and the Fawn are the, the shape and the opening. You can see it's like a half moon semicircle, whereas um, the Kiki Lou is just a rectangle. It's really big right now, so I can't really show you, but if you've seen my uh, What's My Diaper Bag video, you'll know the difference. The Kiki Lou opens just straight like this, whereas the Fawn is a flap. Okay, and inside we have the messenger strap, um, which I will put on. I keep on even though, just sometimes I like to grab it that way, even though I mainly use the backpack straps, which, oh, this is something different about the fawn as well. At least for the this version, my Kiki Lou is, um, I think it's considered like the first version. They just came out with a new one, but they only have two colors in it, so. Um, that's why I, one of the reasons I also went with the fawn because I wanted this 
this handle right here, which the new Vons have, and the new Kiki Loos also have, but they don't have the brown in the Kiki Loos yet. They'll get it eventually when they run out of stock with their original versions. But for now, when you order it, you don't get that, so. Oh, but the point of that, gosh, was that I think that on the new Kiki Loos, you might be able to remove the straps as well. They're not removable, they're just, they're stuck on the top and then they can clip onto the little hardware here. So that if you don't want the backpack straps, you can just tuck them away really easily and really cleanly, which I mean, is kind of nor here nor there for me because I will definitely leave them on all the time. Let's see. And they have this big strap too, which is the same as the Kiki Loop. Oh, you guys can even see what I'm doing. Except this one has um, a button, which is nice. I mean, it could be nice. I've never felt like I needed one, but maybe I'll realize now that I've been missing out. And this also has um, a side pocket here, which uh, Kiki Lou does not have. I feel like, could I fit this in here? I don't know if I would want to, to be honest, but I just want to know if I could. The whole clutch itself doesn't, but the changing pad alone definitely would. So that's an option just to put a changing pad if you don't have the whole big bond one, but. Take these off, just get it all open here. Flip them on. The hardware all feels really nice and it's gold. What is it on my, it's a much yellower gold than my Kiki Lou, and I'm not sure if it's just because uh, wear. I don't know if it started off yellowier on my Kiki Lou, but the Kiki Lou is not rose gold, not at all, but it's more rosy than this gold, which is absolutely fine. It does not, it doesn't really make a difference to me. And this is um, a faux leather bag, if you're wondering. Uh, yes, it is vegan, so I'm not using some leather bag. And I'm vegan if you don't know that. I'm most excited about the grab handle. It's something I am always trying to get on my current type of bag. I'm like grabbing for it, but it doesn't exist. It's not there. So I end up grabbing like, just like holding it by spots you shouldn't and like, holding the whole big messenger strap and just trying to like make it small if you know what I mean. So it's not very effective. I'm very excited about this. So the pockets, as you can see. See, I do like this that I can just flip this back. If you saw my last diaper bag video, I was having a lot of issues trying to like show you guys what was in it like from the top view because of the way it was working. Okay, so we have, oh, this is also something else that, let me show you. Right here. This, no, not this, what am I doing? This, you can hook like your keys to it. That's something that um, the Kiki Lou does not have. As well as this zipper here. It has a big pocket just like this one, but it doesn't have a zippered pocket inside. Let me just double check that I'm not wrong about that. No, it's not. And it's also a little thinner, which maybe it's just from wear, but I do like that it's thinner better in the Kiki Lou. So this one probably will like wear down a bit and just get more broken in. Kiki Lou. Which I love, by the way. I do love this diaper bag. And this is my new one, the Fawn, which I think I'm gonna love, guys. Like, it seems really awesome. I just, it feels like, maybe it's just cause it's not broken in, but the corners feel different. Like, the way the shape, I can tell the stitching on it makes it like bulkier in the corners, which sounds weird, but like, it's definitely true but I, that will definitely not make a difference. Okay, and then this is the back of this one. 
Guys, I didn't anticipate this, but the straps being on the edge are so comfortable. The kiki loose, they're at the bottom. The new ones might be on the edge. I, don't know. I should look that up before I start saying things, but that one just feels so nice. Let me see, it's been a while since I've. It has not been a while, but it's been a while since I've had this on empty. So maybe it's just that it's empty that feels nice. No, the side, that really does feel better. All right, now let's repack the new bag. All right, so it's now, it's full. I'm loving it so far. I keep this on, like I said, but I don't use it on the daily. I just, actually I do use it on the daily, but I don't use it like to carry. I just use it like to quickly grab it from the car or to pick it up out of the car. But the straps are really how I use my bag. And yeah, like I said, these being on the side are way nicer. I've been using the phone now for a few days and I just wanted to give you kind of my final thoughts on it. I have been loving it. I haven't found any problems with it. Some things have taken a little getting used to, such as the pockets are deeper than in the Kiki Lu. And that just means that I just have to reach down farther than I'm used to. It's not a problem at all, it's just um, something a little different and that's just, I have nothing bad to say. So I'm just have to say, anything that I have noticed. Good things wise, I guess kind of the same as the same, there are the same good things as there are bad things as in not much. The Kikilu and the Fawn are very similar. I will say though that I thought I was gonna really dislike the shape. I thought I was gonna make packing really hard and it's just packing differently. I just can't pack the exact same way, but I can definitely fit just as much in this bag. I think it's more comfortable than my Kiki Lu. So, but I, I, as I said, I think that's just to do with the side straps that they come in at the sides. And I think the new ones on the Kiki Lu's have that. So, um, if you're deciding between the two, I honestly don't know what one you should choose, that's up to you, but I'm so happy with my fawn. I think if I decide I need another color, God, Shaq would kill me, but if I ever feel like I want another color, I probably will end up going with the fawn again because it's so, I don't know, maybe just because it's new and exciting, but it's, it's just been really great and I've really enjoyed it and I've kind of been loving the shape, the, semi-circle shape. I don't know, I thought I would think it was weird like on my body, but I've actually really been liking it. And if you wanna see what is in this bag, I actually filmed myself emptying out my Kiki Lu and filling my fawn, and that video is gonna be up tomorrow, so definitely subscribe and watch that one too. <laughs>